Nah, this ain't nonsense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, your entertainment. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction, and this is my channel. <laughs> no, but welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have a reaction for Miss Marvel, and I'm doing a reaction to the most recent trailer that just dropped the other day called Not Alone. It's the most recent trailer for Miss Marvel, and this, this was a short one, so it won't take us that long. Have you ever wanted something so bad? And then it actually happens. But it's not as great as you imagined it. Kamala, I don't know what's going on with you. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. Just know, whatever you are facing, you don't have to do it alone. Cosmic. Definitely seeing some of those clips that, she, you know, with the fact that the mother's saying that you don't have to do it alone, make, you know, it makes sense, but also it shows her being assisted by various friends in the story. So I'm wondering with that scene where it shows the fog, for many of us, probably would be like, that the Terry Gomez, Terry Miss, but it's, I know it's going to be her and her friends to, to fight whoever her villain is, be it a school bully that's going to turn out to be related to somebody else, like some of the other stories where usually the school bully or somebody that's just the awkward kid at school turns out to be the child of a, of a Hydra, Hydra, uh, Hydra agent or the child of a actual villain that's a villain against Iron Man and Spider-Man, but the child is just, just as terrible, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what they're going to do. She's going to have her issues dealing with school, trying to trying to traverse that, but also learning who she is, not just who she is as a, a young lady, but also who she is as a super-powered young lady. I see people upset because they changed their powers. She goes from like this uh, morphic or polymorphic ability where she can sh shape shift and change her body you know elongate and oh she calls it embiggen and her, her hands get bigger her feet get bigger she gets bigger to something that's more on the level of captain marvel which now is a cosmic energy based type power and I, and i think there's two reasons one i think it's because we all know that the 616 reboot is making his, his debut very soon in the marvel mcu universe and because of that they don't want to have two characters probably with the same ability. And also maybe down the line, they're both going to be in the same scenes together in the future. We know that Kevin Feige is off on his retreat and he's planning the next 10 years. So who knows whether or not we have a young Avengers and, you know, some older Avengers and possibly the Fantastic Four and X-Men all in scenes. And they're doing this crazy fight scene because Galactus is here and Silver Surfer and the whole crew is here. But they don't want them cross cross fighting where it looks like it's chaos because you have two stretchy characters doing the same thing i'm assuming she's gonna have like superhuman strength i'm assuming that she's gonna have like different agility abilities as superhuman uh because she has cosmic she's gonna have a force field just like uh captain marvel and she's probably gonna be able to create certain things from it so i, I know that's i know that's coming i know that already so that part is not wrong for me when they first introduced this character i was actually pretty excited to see a character that was not your typical style of comic book superhero. And I remember I got like the first three or four that they released, downloaded to my phone, bought it, and read them. And like I really, really enjoyed the character, enjoyed the storyline. And I think more so because in college, some of my closest friends were of her same background. So I kind of understood it because I knew their parents and I knew their families and I knew their cousins. So I understood where the writing was coming from, even though. It's not my, you know, it's not my heritage, but I understood where it's coming from. I really, I really liked what they did. I felt the approach was very, very genuine. I kind of like the vibes. I like kind of like the, it's very similar on the vibes of what they were doing in the first couple movies of Spider-Man. And I like that different approach. I like when it's not your typical comic book story. I like when they give you a different feeling, when they come from a different point of view, gives you something different, makes it more fun. And this is for, this is supposed to be fun. It feels like it's supposed to be directed more towards the other crowd. It's Marvel's way of trying to reach down past the fathers who are stuck, who are stuck to the books and say, oh, it can't change. These can't, these characters can't change, you know, to the children of those parents, those mothers and fathers that are addicted to the have been addicted to the comics for the last 45, 50, 60 years. 
and telling them, hey, these are heroes that we all can relate to, to from some point of view, we all can relate to them. And I actually, I really like it. I like what they're doing. I like where they're going. The whole idea of Kamala Khan being an inhuman, gaining her polymorphic powers after the exposure to, her, to the Terrigen Mist, it's such a, a fun moment and a crazy moment that that would have been so dope for the big screen. But regardless, I still like the trailer. I, it doesn't turn me off of what they're doing with it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it i'll say that we'll see we'll see what they do with it i'm excited i hope you guys are excited hope you like the reactions hope you like the information that i gave thank you guys for watching the video if you like the video give me a thumbs up um also if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell we definitely got plenty more content coming coming your way for comics for marvel dc for movies for just for a little bit of for everything man and if there's anything that you would like to see let me know down below appreciate you guys thank you for being here Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Nonfiction, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and I'm out, y'all.